What's good, friends and family? So if you saw that photo at the beginning of this video, the very first two seconds of the video, that is Playa Sasua today, Tuesday, the 21st of July. Pay attention. Paradise life, relaxing. Paradise life. Paradise life, relaxing. Welcome to Flip Flop. What's good, friends and family? I'm Mr. Flip Flop, Greg, or as someone just called me, the guy with the chicken restaurant, I guess. So, without further ado, there is more information coming out this afternoon, but I figure I'd give you the facts as it is now, because a lot of people want to deal with rumors. A lot of people want to listen to hookers. A lot of people want to listen to their girlfriend. I got a source, a reliable source, a good friend of mine, someone I know. A motor country told me, hey, this guy who lives down there for 500 years told me, hey, this person speaks Spanish. They told me this. They told me that. So I'm going to give you facts because here's the problem with most of us, our attention span. So I'm going to try to make this video fast. I was on the beach yesterday saying that the beach was closed. I'm on the closed beach. Do you know some people still hit me and said, is the beach closed? As I'm showing you that I'm on the beach saying it's closed. I don't, I don't know. Then someone goes on to say that I said that the country's not going on lockdown, or better yet, Sasu is not going on lockdown. Never said that because you, you listen to what you want to listen to, hear what you want to hear. So I'm going to give you the facts, and I speak perfect English, so pay attention. Matter of fact, I've been told that I speak very well. I don't know what that means, but I've been told that. So, shout the Paradise Life. Now, here are the facts. Not hearsay, not what my mans in them told me, not what my homeboy called me from New Zealand and said. Why I want to hear from people in New Zealand, I don't know, but they be giving the good info about DR, I guess. So, the state of emergency was put in place by the outgoing president and the incoming president. They decided to do 45-day state of emergency. Right now, it is a 20-day curfew so that by the time the new president gets sworn in, either the curfew will end or he will extend it for the rest of the state of emergency. Now what that means, 45 days state of emergency gives each president, the outgoing and the incoming powers to make sure everything is under control with the virus. So on another note, yes, when you're gonna ask, masks are mandatory. You must wear a mask when you're out and about. That is part of the state of emergency. So here we go. As you know, everybody wants to be first with the info, but most of you guys have bad info. But when I give good info, it's always questioned. Uh, but anyway, and no, I don't want to be the mayor of Sasua. I just want to be the guy who sells chicken wings or the, chicken, the guy with the chicken restaurant, right? Go figure. So here we go. Uh, okay, so this is so that 20-day curfew. Now, how the curfew is going to be, it's separated into provinces. This side, this is suicide. Matter of fact, the provinces that you guys know, Santo Domingo, Santiago, Sasua, Puerto Plata, Caparete, that's all you need to worry about because the other provinces that go to 8 o'clock, you guys never go there and probably don't know the names. Um, is Monday through Friday, 7 p.m., you have to be inside. 7 p.m., no one can be on the street. On weekends, Saturday and Sunday, it is 5 p.m. I'll explain that to you later why it's 5 p.m. So Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Weekends, which, which a weekend is Saturday and Sunday, is 5 p.m. So that's the curfew times. And that is for the next 20 days starting today. As I said, they could extend it. We won't know until that time comes. So you can put the rumors to the side until the new president gets sworn in and he makes his address. So, what does that mean for you? Here's another question you're probably gonna ask. Well, Greg, my flight comes in late. As I have been told by people from the airport, there will be special taxis allowed to be at the airport late night to pick those flights up. You will either stay in that province that night or that taxi will be able to drive you to wherever you're going. So let's say you land in Santiago late at night and you gotta get to Sasua. You probably have to stay in Santiago overnight and then leave in the morning on the bus, coming to Sasua, or if that taxi is willing to take you to Sasua, you might have to pay a price and come to Sasua. So if you're flying in late night, obviously they're not gonna leave you stranded at the airport, 
you'll have to get your way to wherever you're going and there should be permitted taxis allowed to take you where you want to go because let me repeat they are not closing the borders they are leaving the borders open they especially took a time to talk about the tourism how they don't want this to affect tourism in any way now Lo and behold, and it's not a rumor, but like I said, I can't speak on it because I was not there and I haven't heard the outcome yet. More information is coming out this afternoon. Late last night, there was a meeting for tourism on this side of the country to decide if they can possibly push back the curfew a little later. We won't speak on it because it hasn't happened yet, but there was a meeting discussing certain stipulations that could be had since the North Coast has had tourism come in fast since things open. Not a lot, but tourism has come in this way. So, um, as we know, anything could change. I mean, you know, you know how, this, how these things go. So the beach is open. Now, someone said there was a decree, the civil whatever, said uh, all beaches are closed. They released three separate statements. You probably saw one, there was another, then there was another retracting. Tourism beaches and restaurants will not be affected, but some beaches decided to close. Case in point, Boca Chica. Boca Chica closed the beach. Sasua Beach is currently open and as of now is staying open. Now, they have not given stipulations about going in the water. As I said, there's more info to come. But the beach is open. That's the picture from this morning. Stay tuned for a video right now after this. But the beach is open. Now, People keep hearing so much misinformation since this thing started. And well, we can go back before this started. All the misinformation is class closed open, is class closed closed. All the rumors. That's what you guys kind of feed off of. I don't want to be the first to report the news. I want to give you the proper news. So, how can you adjust? How can you adjust? Well, guess what, guys? Since July 1st up until yesterday, uh, July 20th, everything had to close at 8 o'clock. So it kind of felt like a curfew anyway. Even though we didn't have to go inside, it kind of felt like a curfew because most of us were getting ourselves prepared before 8 o'clock. Now, how can you adjust? Well, you got a pipeline. You got to know that you got a certain amount of time to get yourself together before the streets close down. Weekdays, 7 p.m. Weekends, 5 p.m. Have your beer, have your liquor put, put to the side. Get outside to the beach, come to Flip Flop, go to Rumble, wherever you want to go during the daytime. And during the nighttime, have yourself set up. Know that by 6 o'clock, you got to have yourself, yourself set up for your nighttime action. Now, I say that because that's what we were doing every day anyway before 8 o'clock. That's what we're all doing. Getting ourselves set up. Hey, 8 o'clock, things closed. Let's see what we're going to do. Blah, blah, blah. Set up the night. I think we had like four villa parties. So there will be a lot of private villa parties, hotel parties going on. So it's not the end of the world. The sky is not falling. If you want to cancel your trip, feel free to cancel. But guys who have been down there are having a good time. Um, I know some of you guys have to have the club. Some of you guys have to have your handheld. How at Paradise Light. We could probably help you. I'm sure we can. But the reality is this changes nothing except less hours. The clubs were not opening anytime soon anyway. So we went from 8 o'clock with things closed and it kind of felt like everything was just done after 8 to now it's 7 o'clock where really you have to be off the street. So that's what it is right now. So that's how you can adjust. Pipeline, hit your tender, hit your WhatsApp, blah, blah, blah. I believe things will be super tight in Santo Domingo, Santiago, as that's where the majority of the cases are. So, you know, um, as I said, the borders are open. Someone asked, someone's going to ask, what if a tourist is caught outside after curfew? How about we just avoid it? How about we just don't be outside of the curfew so there's no issues? You know what the curfew time is. I'm going to repeat it one more time. And then... You, you know what it is. You know you got to be inside by that time. And so someone's going to ask me, well, Greg, why 5 o'clock on weekends? Well, the past couple weeks since, the, since everything's been open, the beaches have been packed with people from San Diego and other provinces coming here. They want that to stop. All those buses that come in every Sunday and Saturday, they can't come if the beach closes, if, if the curfew's at 5. So now it's just going to be people in this area. That's what they're trying to stop is all the travel. Yes, Metro bus is still going. They're from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. I just got that notification. Um, <clears throat> you really don't, you'll be able to travel, but 5 o'clock on weekends, 7 p.m. on weekdays. 
They want the tourism back in full swing, so they want to control the virus in the areas that's bad now to get it, get it done and over with, push it down as fast as we can. This is a country of 10 million 500,000 people. There is not, there, there's almost 1,000 deaths. Think about it. They just want to put a grip on it now before it goes any further. So, let me repeat myself for the last time. The curfew is 7 p.m. from Monday to Friday. And weekends, which is Saturday and Sunday, it is 5 p.m. So you have from 5 a.m. in the morning until 7 p.m. on weekdays, 5 a.m. in the morning till 5 p.m. on weekends to enjoy your vacation, do whatever you want to do, and set yourself up for a great night. So hope to see you soon. If not, see you when it's all over. Who knows? Maybe I'll uh, still be the chicken guy. So love all you guys. Appreciate you guys. Hit that notification button. Hit that like, like button. Share the video because your people's going to ask. I'm doing one video right now. Any other information I get today, I will let you know. The beaches are open. The borders are open. Only thing changes, there's a curfew. So stay tuned for more. See you guys soon. Nothing but love. Hit that notification bell too so you know when I'm going live. Appreciate all y'all. Fast Freddy here. As you can see, I'm on the beach. The beach is not closed. We are open for business. We will be closing a little earlier due to the curfew. But as you can see, the beach is open. Good morning, Buenos, Buenos Diaz. So um, I just want to give a, a quick um, shout out to Mr. Flip Flop, Mr. Greg. So I know he normally don't get as much thanks as he normally should, but I have to, you know, hands down, thank him for making KT Tyler's 44th a success. I mean, without him, um, I really hadn't, I didn't have a plan. I just was like, just coming just to be here for the week. But he kind of, you know, when I ran it by him and he was talking inside the, the restaurant, you know, inside the bar and um, another gentleman heard him talking and said, yo, why don't you just have it at my crib? You know, my spot. So, um, and I want to thank him. I forgot, can't remember his name. I know he's from Philly, but uh, so forget my memory at the moment. But I just want to give a real, real shout out. Greg is a, he's a humble guy. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't, uh, what's the word? He's not a flashy kind of guy to where he boasts you know what i'm saying that's what i appreciate because i've been watching ever since i met him i've been watching his move you know what i'm saying just just because that's how i do it. you know I, I used to be nypd you know um for about a year and a half and then you know i was in the marine seven years so my my thing about people is i won't say i study but i watch to to see and he's a stand-up guy and i'm a hundred percent straight i ain't gay nothing like that you know what I'm saying? but i just give credit where credit is due and this is the time and this is the day that i wanted to give to him because bro i appreciate you to the fullest so you know i i hear the things you do and you love helping people you have a heart for people and that's the same type of thing that i'm in i love helping people that's what i do you know what i'm saying that's that's literally what i do so um and where we from Yo, we, we, we keep it 100, you know what I'm saying? They're, we Straight with no chaser, you know what I'm saying? I know Greg can come off raw sometimes. That's that's just how we do. And it's better to have it raw than to have it any other kind of way. You don't want nobody sugarcoating nothing, you see what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that is so awesome that he keeps it 100, he keeps it straight, and he's a he's a quiet taste, just like all New Yorkers are. We're in a quiet taste for someone that may be, may be from the South, Midwest. You have to get used to our style used to how we talk used to our flavor you see what i'm saying because we bring a whole different type of flavor for someone that may be from the south midwest you see what i'm saying or the west west coast you see what i'm saying so love you bro you know what i'm saying short period of time about a year knowing you know watching and dealing with you and just seeing how you're moving you're, you're a thorough thorough guy you know what i'm saying so he's not he's not a he's not a copy He's a real guy, so that's what that's that's what makes everything real. That's why we have the fun we have when we're with him. 
And that's what you want. You want authentic people to be in your circle. And he's very authentic. He means well. His heart is good. He has good intentions. And I will not not try to battle him and drink it. I'm, I'm good with that. I'm, those, those days are over. I drink with him, but I ain't trying to go there. But he, he has a good time. He lives his life. Takes care of the responsibility. That's what you want to be around people that do stuff like that. You know, so peace, love, and happiness to you and your family. And everybody that's listening to this, peace and blessings to you also. KT out.